My name is Dan Burnett. I'm in the Pegasus Standards Group, um, one of the uh, standards architects in that group. And our, our goal really is to help increase trust in the blockchain ecosystem. Because let's face it, you know, we've all heard about blockchain technology, um, but maybe you were a little nervous, you know, can you really trust it? What happens if I put something that's of value to me on a public blockchain or, or a private one? You know, what's going to happen with that? So standards are really important in that respect. They actually can help um, stabilize an environment and provide, particularly for enterprises, some confidence that uh, you know what you're getting. You know, Ethereum itself, the main innovation there over, let's say, Bitcoin, uh, was the introduction of smart contracts, this ability that you can have code that executes automatically and does something for you. So instead of uh, requiring trust in a human being to have that happen, or a legal agreement per se, uh, there's some automatic behavior that can happen that can be trusted because the crowd, the group, all of the participants, all of the nodes in the Ethereum network, um, uh, you know, provide that trust. However, public Ethereum is, is not there to provide certain capabilities that enterprises need uh, in order to trust putting their, um, their content on a network like that. And one example is uh, privacy. So public Ethereum actually works very hard to be completely transparent. That's great. It's a great goal. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want all of my financial transactions to be completely public, okay? And neither does uh, JP Morgan, who created Quorum, and, and you know, some other uh, financial entities, and many others, in fact. So there's actually a very important enterprise need for privacy. If you are uh, a financial services company, you might want with other financial services company to create a network that all of you use together. But you don't want everyone else jumping into that network. That's really just for your industry, it's for your group of, of companies. And in order to do that, you need a way to permission the network. You have to be able to say, this node is allowed to join and this one is not. Very simple, uh, but it's not what public Ethereum was designed to do. So these are some examples of capabilities that we believe uh, can be added onto public Ethereum and can be done in a standardized enough way that they will work for enterprises across uh, implementations of the clients. One of the discussion points that we're actually having right now is what should the compatibility with public Ethereum be? Okay, so, so that comes down to the use cases. What is it that people actually want to accomplish? Um, in, in one case, you may actually want to have an ability for transactions to be executed uh, on the public Ethereum network um, using the same client that you use, and that's just because it's built into your infrastructure. So having the tie between those two is valuable. We also strongly suspect that a number of the capabilities that we add uh, essentially to the enterprise Ethereum might eventually make their way into public Ethereum as capabilities. That's not something that we're, we're trying to do yet, but we wouldn't be surprised because they are great, great capabilities. Uh, it's, it's a great thing that actually there's a, an organization that's been created um, to do standardization for enterprise needs. It's amazing the use cases that we're beginning to hear about from, uh, from different industry segments. That's the kind of thing that uh, you, you don't always necessarily hear uh, just in a, in a concentrated manner. Uh, for public Ethereum. So the, the work itself is going well. We've been, uh, we finished version one, of course. Uh, we're working on version two. And as we go, we're beginning to uh, refine both uh, processes and the spec and you know, a, a variety of different aspects of what we're doing. And it's the, it's the participants themselves who are doing it, which is the way it should be.